Hello, my name is Tom. Today I'll be working with the Easy Touch HMI made by Easy Automation. This video is going to be starting a new project. And I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. As you can see, I have a short list here. And if you go to the hyperlinks that I have here, it will take you directly to the web page where the item is located on their website. And down below here, I have a project description. And in this project description, I am going to be setting up a Easy Touch HMI to communicate with a Automation Direct 205 PLC with a 260 processor. Now I'm going to get started here. And I'm going to come down to my step by step guide here. In step one, I will be setting up the panel and naming the project. Step two, I will set up the panel selection here. In step three, I will be setting up the PLC driver. And in step four, I will be setting up the COM ports. So with that being said, I'm going to go through the video here. Now that I have the software up and running, the first area that I want to focus in on right now is the select action area and that's this right here these three push buttons on the left hand side and the top push button is edit program offline and write to panel later the middle one is the read program from panel and edit offline and then the bottom one is edit program online since this is going to be a first project video I am going to come up here to the edit program offline and write to the panel later and click on it and that opens up the project name area here now I could browse for a project but since this is going to be a first project video I am going to call it project one now I'm going to come down here and click the OK button and that opens up this whole area here now under the start editing screen that is sufficient for right now but I'm going to come down here to the select easy series panel and under panel family I am going to use the drop down box here and select my panel. Now it just happens to be that my default setting is the easy panel enhanced and that is the panel that I will be using today. Now under size I am going to select the size of my HMI. Now I'm going to select an 8 inch HMI for today. Then I'm going to come down here to select model under the 8 inch model there are two different models and the top model here is the color 640 by 480 easy panel enhanced this is the one I will be working with today so I'll click on this and under the PLC section here the PLC manufacturer I am going to use the drop down box to choose the automation direct PLC and under PLC model and protocol I am going to come here to the K sequence slash revision I slash F and select that and under view editing PLC COM port settings if you are connecting to COM port 1 on the automation direct PLC these settings here should be sufficient and under the PC to panel connection here I will be using a serial connection so I will be using COM4 now it looks like everything here is all filled in and I can click OK so in this video I've shown you how to select the panel select the drivers and select your PLC COM port and give the project a name and that will be it for this video I will see you next video so I hope you like my video. If you like it or you learned something, let me know. Leave a comment. 